Hey everyone, it's Mika. I am recording because I'm on my way to Vegas, so I wanted to do a vlog for you guys to let you guys know. We're just leaving. It is 5.20, so hubby's driving. Say hi to hubby. Stuck in famous LA traffic. So we are on our way to Vegas. Um, we were supposed to leave about five hours ago, and we haven't. We just now are leaving. Four, so four and a half. Four and a half. Sorry, four and a half. Vegas is about a four-hour drive. Thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday yesterday. 31s never felt so good. Um, I'll try to vlog when I go to Sephora and their mall out there and some other stores. I definitely want to hit Sephora up. I say I want to go. Uh, no. the mantra. Birthday weekend. Celebration and an extravaganza. So that's hubby. Um, I guess I'll do a husband tag soon. <laughs> now since he's on camera. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram. Beauty with Mika. So yeah, way you guys can see definitely pictures. Tomorrow we have a fun filled night. So we're off to see boys to men at the Mirage. And... I'll try to upload this video probably tonight once we get there and I'll record, you know, where we're staying and things like that. Um, you guys hear the music and I'll just let you, give you guys updates. Um, first stop we're doing is definitely in and out and I actually need Starbucks because I'm actually sleepy. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video or I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye! We are going to in and out I'm getting a 60th anniversary t-shirt. Say that again so they can hear you. Like I'm getting a 60th anniversary t-shirt. I'm going to rep that in and out lot. So, of course, we are going to in and out Um, I'm going to make sure I'm in focus. Um, that's my navigation system. For those of you that are in California and know about California, you know about in and out and in and out is the must have. So if you haven't visited California, make sure you add Roscoe's, chicken and waffles, and in and out to your list. Here it is. So I'm getting my in and out fix. We're gonna get out. You must have an in and out burger. You cannot go without. That's how the line looks all the time. So remember, you're gonna wait in line, but hubby is parking. I hate that beat. And we will be back. Ah. You guys don't have the gift shop? Sorry? You don't have the gift shop? I haven't even been over there. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll look. Hey, everybody. So, I am back. Hubby is actually in in and out getting the food. Um, I recorded, as you guys seen, clips of in and out along with their menu. Um, they're a great place to eat. I try to get them once every blue moon, but I've been on a burger and french fry kick. So, that's what I wanted again today. Because I had it earlier this week, too. I believe I had it. Tuesday yeah I did have it Tuesday and then after this we're leaving to go to Starbucks um because I need either my usual which is Trenta black tea with 13 shots which is basically sweet tea for Starbucks or what else what else or my vanilla macchiato with an extra pump because this trip is four hours and a sister is sleepy I was actually packed and ready to go of course before my husband and not sure if you guys could see me but um i was packed and ready before him and then i had to wait another couple maybe about an hour or two hours because he had still stuff to do around the house and stuff so 
here's my cup um i bought this out of lax so i always take this when we're traveling and this is just a grande size plastic cup and then of course i have my bag with all my goodies and everything i'm wearing flip-flops i always wear capris and flip-flops when we're traveling um especially going to vegas i guess it's like a little tradition and then in here i have dry roasted edamame with raisins sunflower seeds and cranberries and un lightly salted peanuts it's a, like a my own little trauma only because i like the um dry roast the edamame so i pretty much take this with me to work and then i fill it back up um anytime so i'd actually want to just finish this container off for this week and it has raisins in it of course we have our chargers in here my husband always drinks soda and then we never take our car we always take a rental car so that's what it is and for those of you who don't know, my husband is a USC graduate, go Trojans. So anything pretty much USC, if you see on my Instagram or my, um, if you definitely see on my Instagram page, uh, you will definitely notice that there's a lot of USC stuff. So we are a Trojan family. So anyone that's a USC fan, help yourself. And then back here, we just have all this space. Um, yes, I do crochet. So I've been working on this blanket for about a year. And of course, we take our blankets. So I have my... Winnie the Pooh blanket and then my husband has his USC blanket and then this is a big thirsty two ounce that my husband uses um he puts a mixture of soda in which he's really good at blending sodas so we will probably stop at a gas station right before we get to state line in Vegas and we'll fill this up and of course this jacket um anytime we travel I keep my this is my coach backpack and inside here is just my laptop my ipad and all of our electronics our charging cords and things like that if you want to see a unpacking video or a packing video definitely let me know i got this backpack from coach men's for maybe about two years ago as you can see it says coach i got this two years ago because it actually does fit like a 15 inch laptop so my laptop is in there um in this back zipper and then this is kind of like our electronics i don't like to go to hotels and have my electronics like the the bellhop person checks in like takes my electronics so anytime we go anywhere or we're traveling i'm in charge of all the electronics and videos and dvds and stuff so that's where everything is and my husband's shoes are in here then we have tons of space in the back which has a bunch of clothes and our luggage and stuff so that's it guys i'll go ahead and let you guys see our food and our starbucks drinks my husband doesn't drink starbucks so i'm not sure he's all, he'll get soda as usual but i will definitely be in something to keep me up on this road and until then you guys have a blessed day hey everyone so here's in and out for you we're actually taking this on the go and basically what i got was a number two with just spread meat cheese and pickles there is my husband which i'm gonna zoom in baby you gonna tell me what you got me no what is on your burger double tomatoes regular hamburger yeah he always gets a burger with no cheese he's not a cheese person so he gets double tomatoes lettuce and everything else that i don't get did you get grilled onions no no pickles oh yeah and you can get no pickles you can get grilled onions they do fresh grilled onions on here which on your burgers which is good so right now we are chilling inside starbucks parking lot there is starbucks and we are getting ready to go here is my this is the black tea with 13 pumps um this is the grande size this is basically sweet tea for anybody that's asking i usually get this just on the go or when um like for instance right now so this would get me through until we get to vegas since i really don't want to have any coffee right now so until then see you in the next video bye we are halfway in Vegas. Um, what does our navigation say, hubby? 181 out. 181 miles out. Um, we have been listening to an interview on writer Rico Love on series The Heat. So, just wanted to check in and let you guys know where we are. We did make a stop because hubby likes to get his 32 ounce filled. So, he got his soda 
and I have my Starbucks. Um, weather so far is good. Traffic has been good since we left in and out so overall it's still a good trip but you guys i will come back once we hit the vegas strip and capture a lot of footage for that for you guys to see till then see you see you in the next clip bye I'll say bye bye hey everybody we are hitting state lines so as you can see, this is how it looks when you're going into Vegas. Um, state line is basically the borderline between that divides California to Nevada. It is 9.44, so we're actually making good timing. We said we would probably get in to Vegas probably by 10.30, but we're looking at pretty much a 10, 10.15 actually to get to where we're staying, but you definitely know when you're getting close when you see this and basically these are the lights going into state line i'll try to record some more um i just been listening to hubby actually which usually i never listen to his music so he's been on a serious xm shady 45 which he loves so keeping him entertained and just enjoying some cute tea time until then see you guys in the next video bye this is the drive in to vegas um, trying to zoom in. We have basically been at cruise control at 65 because once you cross state line, Nevada police is all over the place. Hubby is jamming. Um, it's going on 10:15, so we're still making good time, and we always usually hit four hours. It says, uh, based off our GPS, we have 9.2 miles before our entrance into Vegas. So, these are pretty much how the signs look. It's just dark. I actually enjoy the drive up. I know we do live in LA and people will say, why don't we fly? I actually enjoy the trip up. It's some quality time with my husband and it's just the opportunity just to relax and enjoy what you don't see versus flying. Plus I can bring anything I want and pack as much as I want. Flying limits you. So that's why we always drive. Most people always say, why don't you guys fly? It's so much quicker. You could get there in an hour. I'm not in a rush to get to Vegas, never. There's the blue man green. We are coming up on what hotel is this? South Point. South Point Hotel, which is the first hotel you see when you come up in Vegas, and then you have the pinup at Shadowspear. These are actually kind of like the first hotels. We haven't made it to the Strip. It says Las Vegas Strip, the next seven exits. So we will be exiting on Tropicana, which will lead us to the Palms Hotel. Hubby is jamming, so excuse him and his music. But if this what keeps him going, I will allow him to play it. Till the next video, guys. I'll catch the strip and see you on it. Bye. The barrel, headed for the light at the end of a tunnel. When the Pacific target in sight, slow the flow like H2O water. Visual eyes, the scene of a homicide slaughter. The remorse for the cost I take when you pull it. The results are straight bullet. Make it move, hit the ground, run and it stay down. Except for the kids who played on the playground. Cause for some little girls, you'll never see more than six years of life. Strike. Lane, when she fell from the sea store But um, wait, my course isn't over Flat out on the other side of my head So more to red, green, rover Then I ricochet, fast pass above his ass So damn what that nigga say Oh, fuck it
it. Next target, small bitch face. And I stuck it. That was a fun of blood as it comes to screw a face. And an abundance of rays all over the street. Shame how we had to meet. Catch your fucking Greek by fucking family. They follow behind me in an orderly fashion. Fashion through flesh and wild. Crashing through the doors. I project hallways through the fleckle for the tiles. I'm coming for you, little girl. What's inside? I shatter your world. Swirl. No more dreams, no hopes when I spray. You better pray to the book for the Vatican before the rest of us attack. I'm mad again, brother. Somebody smother for me, static it. But whose new skies will serve play from the attack of the Mac 11 of a spray? Call it. Y'all think it's a song? So what? Y'all think it's a song? So what? Rev, Rev, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, dude. I'm having a flashback. It's like a, a lyrical heroin overdose, dude. My arms are like, I'm touching my veins. Oh, my. Hey, man. What about the new choice? Play. We're gonna start off with one of my favorites on the album. It's called The Jungle, produced by my man Marco Polo. And um, man, it's you know we ended it off with Straight Bullet, and then we're going right to The Jungle from PTSD. It's out now. Go get it, support this brother. He's been doing it for a long time, and you know you love the shit. Monstrous. Let's go, man. One famous wake up show. Much props to our homie Farrell. If you like Farrell Bosch, tweet us at Wake Up Show. Let's go, Rev. <laughs> At the palms, if the bunny is lit, then you know you have mirrors there. So right now the bunny isn't lit. At the Palms Casino, so no hue is there this weekend, but usually on the third, this third building right here, if the bunny's lit, that's how you know he's visiting or he's in town. And every time I come, I think I've only caught it once where he's been there. And this is the Rio. We're not going on the strip tonight. We actually just need to go to the grocery store once we got in and then I will get some more footage and let you guys see Las, more Las Vegas tomorrow. Plan to get this video up tonight so I will see you on the next clip. Bye! Hey everybody we're here so we just took a tour of um, our room. We pretty much don't leave until Monday and this is today April 24th so this is how our suite looks um we are staying at our timeshare which we have a timeshare in, in Vegas so if you don't know what a timeshare is I can definitely explain it to you in another video but it's basically ownership of property that we get to use which is great and affordable when you do go on vacations, and we can also rent out these suites, um, they just did some upgrades in here, so we're kind of shocked that this upgrades. So, um, our timeshare in Vegas, we're able to use it at either Planet Hollywood or at this location. And I actually like this co location a little bit better because it's more, a little bit more friendly as far as if you really want to get somewhere and relax, um, things like that. That's hubby checking messages. And then this is the suite. And then they just did some upgrades. So we were actually tripping out for a while because um, last time they didn't have any flat screens. And now they actually have flat screens on the wall. There's my purse, which I had to hurry up and come in and use the bathroom. There is the jacuzzi tub, which every time we come, I make sure I get in the tub at least twice while we're here. And that's me um, not wearing... I'm just wearing comfortable clothes. I have my Aeropostal V-neck on with my um, New York and Company just um, crop pants that I wear and a simple black belt that I got from H&M. Um, here's me again. So here's more of a close-up. And this is my comfortable look. Um, as you can see, I'm just wearing some simple white flip-flops from Old Navy. And of course, my tattoos are showing on my leg. And I did get my nails done yesterday with my wedding ring. So... 
this is how the suite looks as far as the room goes and then there's so many different doors and so many lights so here goes the kitchen part which i love um most of the time when we do come when we do come to vegas i which we're gonna do in a few minutes we're going to the grocery store so we already set the ice maker on the refrigerator um what else Set the ice maker on the refrigerator. I pull out the trash can. This is fully equipped with everything. So we get a coffee maker and we get a toaster oven. Here's also dishes and things that already come. One of the things that I do pack when I am coming is I kind of make a, we have a tradition. So my husband plans out the activities that we're gonna do. And here's any suggestions that I actually wanna do. So tomorrow we're gonna go see Boyz II Men at the Mirage as a birthday gift to me. And then we'll pretty much just chill out for the rest of the weekend. I do want to go to their Sephora at the Venetian. And also, we were coming in, we seen Cake Boss was at the Venetian. So I definitely want to try that. Because um, Queen Mika 28, actually, when she went to the makeup show in New York, her and Tiff J had loved it when they went to actually the original location. But this is pretty much how everything looks so far. We actually really, really love it. We're probably gonna set the fireplace. Um, that's my husband's luggage. I also have a matching Louis Vuitton bag that I don't carry with me on trips like this because I pretty much pack a lot. That's the seating area, which I was, we were just flabbergasted because they just definitely did a lot of upgrades to these suites. And we hadn't seen them since the last time we came, which was in October of last year. This is the extra closet with extra pillows and things like that and a safe um thinking about doing a girls trip and actually just bringing some friends and treating just having a girls summer party weekend in vegas that's me again hello my husband's clothes that we hung up um i'm not sure if many of you go anywhere but we pretty much unpack like we're staying especially if we're staying for a few days longer than two days there's towels and everything which all this will basically become home this is a sliding door which leads to the shower and then there's the nice little toilet um i love this place overall see there's the sign that says vegas welcome to fabulous las vegas but you guys i am going to pretty much not in this video but i'll let you guys see us in the grocery store and then i'll definitely get this video posted up tonight um my contest that was on my random haul video the contest ended yesterday so i'll be announcing the winner at the end of this vlog and then i'll definitely try to vlog the rest of the week um also what i'm wearing on my neck is my husband gave me part of my easter basket was this necklace which i'll see if i can get a close-up on it there we go and if you follow me on instagram you definitely see um part of our traditions for easter is that we give each other an easter basket and in that easter basket it's something that we mostly wanted that we didn't get for i would definitely say that we didn't get for when for christmas so that's pretty much um what we do uh, we've been doing it since we've been dating and this year was our first husband and wife um basket and then this year i got my first birthday card as his wife so I will see you in the next video. Until then, I hope you are enjoying this vlog. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. There's my wonderful husband relaxing. Say so see you next video. See you next video. Bye. The Vegas food shopping. I am looking Rice aroni, and then our second meal will be actually a Bertoni pasta dish with again steamed broccoli. And tomorrow, I'm probably gonna make a lemon no bake cheesecake from Jello. So, right now, I am looking and hubby is recording. My baby cooking for me. All right, guys, we are back at the hotel room. Um, so this is all the snacks that we brought. Um, pretty much bringing food from home 
and I got these at Walmart so these are all my sweets and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a jello no-bake cheesecake with graham cracker crust and this is my dry roasted edamame um, trail mix and then a co-worker actually got me some Filipino snacks so these are um, shrimp snacks and this one is onion and garlic sour cream and onion and this is just cheese I'm gonna be making tilapia tomorrow but me and my husband um i've used this before it's a classical paste paste basil pesto and then we bring our own little condiments so hot sauce and grits and my husband's balance bars and then of course this stuff and then my um co-worker did give me some filipino pastries um all of my husband's vitamins and my vitamins um pretty much what i take is gummies i don't swallow pills so this has fish oils gummies um multivitamins biotin folic acid calcium pills and um biotin and then when you go in the refrigerator this is pretty much everything that we pretty much got I brought candy from home butter for my tilapia this is a pickle i have been wanting a pickle for a while so i got a pickle with and i'm gonna put um a jolly rancher in there so that that is so good and then we got lime juice my husband got candy there's here's two liters of soda and then tomorrow again i'm gonna be doing this chicken florentine which is already kind of like a premix with spinach and then i'm just gonna add some diced grilled chicken breast in there we got orange juice for breakfast and eggs i'm gonna also be having steamed broccoli with the tilapia we got turkey bacon and then we have the garlic toast so that's pretty much um anytime we're in vegas i do two dinner meals and then i try to do two breakfasts so there's the tilapia and then i just got some o'brien potatoes and we started the ice maker when we came that is pretty much it guys um i do set up my laptop so i can go ahead and get that up for you guys um what else well i have some time on here Okay, where's the light at? I don't even know how to fix this light. But I'm not sure if you could see me in here. But I pretty much just have all my makeup brushes set up and everything in here. And what else? And then my husband's side of the cabinet. I'm trying to get the light on. Okay, I guess no light right now. But that's pretty much it, guys. I am going to get this video out to you guys. And I want to say good night. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you want to see more from me.